Hello everyone! I am finally getting to tell you about a dream come true collaboration with CoverGirl. This is our pop art princess look and it can be seen nationwide on product displays in Rite Aid. I am so beyond excited to show you guys how I created this look using CoverGirl products for something more bold and Halloween-y and fun, so let's get started. Kicking it off with CoverGirl's Ink It Liner in Aquamarine to create a blue pop of color. This liner was perfect because it glides on easily and it allowed me to build and build a couple of layers to get the really, really saturated pop art look that I knew I wanted. One thing to remember when you're creating 2D sort of comic book looks like this is that we actually don't want dimension. So I'm just putting the color on my lid instead of adding anything into my crease so that my eye looks two dimensional instead of really deep. Next up, I'm grabbing another ink it liner, but this one is in black, and this is the best intense black liner I think I've ever used. It's super long wearing, which is great for any Halloween look, obviously, because you want it to last all night for all of your Halloween events, but also it stays in place without being cakey and heavy. I'm starting by filling in my brows to give that two dimensional look again, but you'll see me reach for this liner a few times in this tutorial. The solid black lines are a really key, important element to the pop art princess glam look. Those are some crazy looking brows. Using that same black ink it liner, I'm going to create a wide eyed look by lining underneath my lash line with the black color and leaving my waterline completely open. We're going to fill that in later with a lighter color which will make my eyes look cartoony and big. But first, since the liner is creamy, we need to make sure we set it with a dark black shadow so that it doesn't go anywhere and it gives us that long wearing capability. Since there tends to be more moisture under the eyes, we just want to make double triple sure that this isn't going anywhere. Reaching for that same True Naked CoverGirl palette, we're going to use that lightest shade there to give the illusion of larger, more cartoony eyes. And you're just going to gently pack that into your waterline with an angled brush. Next, I'm going back in with the Ink It Liner to create eyeliner on top of my eyes, making sure to pull that liner outward a little bit to create a wing. Then, instead of going into my crease with a transitional color, I'm going to use the black liner to create a line. And just in general with this look, pretty much anywhere that you'd add contour, we're going to put a solid black line. Even though that does sound weird, I know, at the end, that's what's going to give it the comic book feel. So I'm just tracing on top of where that blue liner ends, pulling it down toward my inner corner and then flicking it out where we created the wing with the blue and the black liner on my lash line. And ta-da! Our CoverGirl pop art eyes are coming together, you guys. Hey, that rhymed. Okay, so you know how we're always in search of the perfect mascara? Seriously, you guys, you can just stop looking now. The search is over. This Super Sizer Fibers Mascara is everything. Plumping and volumizing for days, obviously, but the best part to me was the brush. Seriously, it is worth a try. You're welcome. And actually, since I love the Fibers Mascara so much, I grabbed a teeny tiny brush and used the mascara product that was in the tube to create some lashes on the bottom and accentuate the eye look all around. Then I got a little carried away and I had to accentuate my eyeliner. I put some in my brows. <laughs> Basically, I have that Fiber Lash Mascara everywhere, all over my face. So now we're going back to the Ink It Liner and I'm going to start creating the contour with the eyeliner. And as I mentioned before, this is going to feel super weird and like you're going against everything you know about makeup, but this is a Halloween look and we're going outside of the box. So both cheeks are going to get this line and this is going to act as our contour. Then I'm going on my forehead and actually I decided to pretty much change my entire hairline because I really wanted to look like an animated character and I didn't want to see any of the baby hair flyaways, so it helped a lot with that. Okay, now's the really fun part. Now we get to go in and add the little black lines for expression. So when they're drawing comic book characters, the way that they show the characters are having different emotions or expressions is through these black lines. So basically I just created a character who had an expression and went for it. This is when you get to show your creativity and really have fun. So don't worry about doing it wrong. You can always take it off. You just gotta go for it and create your own style of pop art princess. Now, if you've ever seen my Instagram or my YouTube before today, you know that this is my very favorite part. I'm using hot chaleur to create some pop art lips. 
This is a beautiful bold red color that honestly would be beautiful Halloween or not, but it is perfect for this look because it's really going to make our lips just as crazy and poppin' as our eyes. I have found that in general, if you're using a really specific precise lip brush, you don't need to use a lip liner. So that's what I'm going for here. Just really precise lips as easily as possible. And once that's filled in, I'm going back in with the actual lipstick itself and putting it directly on my lip so that I get the most bold, saturated coverage that I can. And voila, that is the creamy goodness that is hot chalor. As beautiful as that color is, don't forget this is a pop art look. Of course, we need to add some black lines. So I'm outlining my lips with the Ink It liner. Basically, you're placing these lines where you would place your lip liner. Now here comes the weird part. I'm going to also line inside of my lip line top and bottom and create some outward jutting black lines which are gonna make it look like 2D comic style lips. To complete the lip look, I added a highlight with a few white dashes on my top and bottom lip using a white cream paint. Don't forget to add some comic book style dots for effect. A Q-tip can be quite effective. Find a fun 50s style hair tutorial. 2D accessories are super easy to make just by cutting out pieces of paper to complete your pop art princess look. I hope you've enjoyed this look. This has truly been a dream come true collaborating with CoverGirl. I am so excited to share this with you guys. If you do decide to recreate the look, make sure you hashtag CoverGirlMade and hashtag RyanKellyMUA so we can see what you did. The CoverGirl pop art princess look can be found exclusively at your local Rite Aid along with everything needed to create this specific and beautiful look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.